guys, Strode from 1UP Reviews and today we've got a slipper review and an unboxing of the classic clog Crocs. Before we get into this review guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us with the algorithms. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment thrown out our way and I just want to take the time to thank all our subscribers, new and old. Thank you, without you guys we aren't able to do this content for you. So today we've got a look at the classic clog Crocs and I know what you're thinking, why you usually do sneaker reviews but I'll let you know why actually. Loads of my mates, so when we dropped the Yeezy Foam Runner they were like, yo you need to have a look at Crocs, they're better. And I've seen many sneaker reviewers, such as Life for Sneakerheads, Michael, and Former Simpsons brother, Buckets. Those guys, they love their Crocs. So I just wanna see what the hype is about. And I have tried them on before, I'm not gonna to lie to you guys, prior to the unboxing, they're comfy as F. They are so comfy, so comfy. And maybe it's because I'm getting old, but We'll get into that later. So today we've got a look at the classic clog in the white colorway. And we got this in a European size 41, in the CUK size eight. It's a men's eight and it's a women's 10, that's the US. So this is the unisex sizing. Here we go. There you go, the classics. These are the classics. Obviously this is where Kanye got his inspiration from. So today, looking at these clogs, I know what you're thinking, why are you doing clogs? You guys are doing the sneaker reviews. I've told you, we're just here for the vibes. We're here because we're getting old. So I just thought these are the ones, these are the ones I'm gonna grow old in. So we start with the outsole. So the whole clog itself is made of this injected foam. There's nothing else more to say about the materials that are used in the making of this, of this clog. But you can see more textured outsole. This is obviously made for walking. And you got the Crocs logo and the sizing there, so the eight and the 10. These were made in Vietnam and Crocs is Boulder, Colorado. Move along on to the upper again. It's a whole unit that's made of this injected foam. Looking at the toe area and the front of the clogs. So you got this clog silhouette. It's shaped as an Amsterdam clog you can find. And clogs are what's used by most chefs, if you didn't know this. So my cousin, he's a chef. He swears by Crocs. And even the Birkenstock Boston clogs, like those are in kind of fashion now. As we've hit quarantine, those are people who really rather wear a pair of slip-ons. They, they're all about comfort and that is the main reason why I bought these. There's loads of holes, loads of perforations around the front and that is for the airflow so your feet can breathe. And what's great, unfortunately I didn't buy any gibbets but you can add your own gibbets into these little holes. Gibbets are little gems they're often cartoon characters or emojis or whatever. You can just decorate your whole clogs in these Crocs gibbets. We look at the other feature of this clog and it is the strap. So you can wear this in two ways. You can wear it as a slipper or go extreme and avoid any slippage and put the back strap on. So as I mentioned, your heel doesn't slip outwards and that rounds off my review i've got nothing else more to say apart from i did forget to mention actually is that the inner so where the footbed is that is more textured little pods are raised and that is there for your comfort similar as a massage beads i think that's what they're called and you can put at the back seat of your car and rest your back on that's there for that comfort and you can use that same analogy on the feet. So yeah, I'm gonna round it off there. Probably forgot about the Crocs logo that you can find at the strap, but there is that little Croc. And 
I can't wait to try these on. I have longed for these now that I've hit the ripe old age of 29. Believe it or not, I'm 29 at the time of recording this video. But in my earlier 20s, I was berating all Crocs. I was berating everyone who wore Crocs because I was a hardcore sneaker. I was like, yo, let me get Jordans. Let me get Nikes, all that. Now that I've gotten older, I'm here for comfort. Those guys, as I've mentioned, Buckets from Foma Simpson and Mike from Sneaker Life, they swear by these. This is for everyday use, you know. You, I mean, you're not going to wear Jordans every day, are you? You can wear this inside your house, you can wear this outside, pop it onto the shops, you can wear it as you're exploring the city. It doesn't really matter. If you're brave, I respect that. But yo, I will never, ever, ever knock on a pair of Crocs clogs ever again. So let's show that on feet footage. Let's do this, let's go. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend you that you try and get your true to size fit. Where my toe is, you can actually see it from the hole. It is around here, but where my heel is, there's not a lot of slippage, but that's because I've got a back strap on. And I'm gonna round it off here where I'm gonna praise its comfort. They may look ugly, but you know, beauty is at the eye of the beholder. And I'm gonna end it with the old saying, never judge a book by its cover. Before I sign off guys, I just wanna say we are not sponsored by Crocs. This is not an advert for Crocs, but I cannot recommend enough that you purchase a pair. It's so comfy, I was wrong. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at 1UpReviews with ZDDN on the Instagram account. And until next time, peace.